Hi, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. In this video lecture, we will discuss the diode current equation. This is the equation of diode current. Okay, and uh, the symbols that we have used are explained here. I will explain you all the symbols that we have used. This diode current equation tells us how much current flows through the diode when a voltage V is applied across it. Okay, it can be forward biased or reverse biased. We will see all the cases. Okay, so this is the equation I is equals to I naught e to the power V divided by eta v t minus 1 okay learn this equation keep this in mind here let me now tell you the meaning of all the symbols used here here i is what i is the diode current the current flowing through the diode what is i naught i naught is the reverse saturation current okay the reverse saturation current that flows through the diode at room temperature what is v here v is the external voltage applied to the diode that we will apply across it okay what is eta and vt eta is the ideality factor it is known as ideality factor ideality factor is 1 for germanium and its value is 2 for silicon you should keep this in mind what is a vt here vt is the thermal voltage or also known as the volt equivalent of the temperature it is denoted as kt by q what is K? K is the Boltzmann's constant. Boltzmann's constant's value is 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 joules per Kelvin. Okay. We use here Vt as the thermal voltage. Its value is Kt by Q. Q is the charge of the electron. We know it is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. And T is the temperature of the diode junction. The diode junction's temperature in Kelvin. Okay. So, if you put the values of Q, which is uh, 1.6 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and K, 1.38 10 to the power minus 23 joule per Kelvin, you will get T divided by 11,600. 11, so, you can directly use this uh, value of uh, VT as T, by, T divided by 11,600. Just only you need to place uh, the value of temperature okay so by this uh, simplification of vt equal to t divided by 11600 we can simply place the value of t now we will uh, see how the equation changes when we uh, find the equation at uh, room temperature room temperature means 300 kelvin so at room temperature we will place value of t as 300 and see how the equation changes you see here at the room temperature 300 Kelvin, we can find T divided by uh, 11,600. If you put the value of T 300, then this will uh, VT will become equal to 26 millivolts. Okay, so 26 millivolts will be uh, placed in this equation. Then the equation of diode uh, current will be I is equals to I naught e to the power 40 V divided by eta minus one this is the this is at room temperature okay we have replaced vt by 26 millivolts in this equation only we have changed this parameter vt so this is the diode equation at room temperature now you look here that it has two things uh, voltage applied and eta eta is the ideality factor i, I told you and eta is uh, 1 for germanium and 2 for silicon we can uh, find the equation especially for germanium and silicon okay separately so put the value of uh, uh, 1 eta equals to 1 for germanium so if you put uh, 1 at this place you will get 40 v okay so i equals to i naught e to the power 40 v minus 1 and for uh, silicon eta is 2 put eta equal to 2 so 40 divided by 2 becomes 20 so 20 V minus 1 okay this is the equation for silicon diode okay now under reverse bias condition as I told you that uh, in the equation in this equation this V can either be positive or negative negative is for the reverse bias of diode reverse biasing of the diode so the equation for reverse biasing will become when we replace uh, this V by minus V because we apply the reverse voltage so i equals to i naught e to the power 
minus of v divided by eta vt minus 1. Same equation, just replace v, v by minus v because voltage is negative in reverse bias condition. Now consider a case where V is greater greater than Vt that is the applied voltage is much higher than the thermal voltage. In that case you consider the equation this is for the reverse biasing okay. This is the equation for reverse biasing okay and here V is uh, greater greater than Vt okay. So in this equation uh, let me solve this part let us consider this part e to the power okay. So, e to the power minus v divided by eta vt is nothing but 1 divided by e to the power v divided by eta vt. Okay, just uh, take this to uh, denominator since it is a negative uh, power. So, if v is greater, greater than vt, then this v divided by vt will be a big number. So, e to the power a large, large number would be a large number so 1 divided by a large number would be nearly equal to 0 so we can uh, say that um, this e to the power minus v divided by eta vt is lesser lesser than 1 much smaller than the 1 so we can neglect it in comparison to 1 in this equation so see the equation since this part is uh, lesser lesser than 1 in comparison to 1 we can neglect this term so it becomes i equals to i naught minus of 1 okay it is nothing in comparison to it is nearly equal to uh, 0 okay so for v greater greater than vt so i equals to i naught in bracket we have minus 1 so i equals to minus of i naught i equals to you see here i equals to minus of i naught this is what you see that the diode current i becomes a constant and this constant current is known as the reverse saturation current if you see the graph of a diode uh, let me show you a rough sketch here okay this is for forward biasing and for reverse biasing it is something like this so this is the saturation current okay saturation means it is not changing its value even we are increasing the voltage this is the negative applied voltage this is the current okay you can denote it by i and this is reverse biasing part this is forward biasing and this current is uh, not increasing even though we are increasing the negative potential but at this point breakdown occurs and sudden rise of uh, current is observed okay this is breakdown so this is saturation i is equals to i naught up to the point where it is not breaking down where before the breakdown point before the breakdown voltage so it is constant so this is uh, clear by this equation then that when the v is greater greater than v then a constant reverse saturation current flows and it flows until we reach the point of breakdown voltage so I hope you understood all these concepts related to diode current equation. We observed uh, in the forward bias condition, this equation was observed in forward biasing and reverse biasing and also the ideality factor for germanium and silicon and also the equations behavior at the room temperature 300 Kelvin. So if you like this video, please uh, hit on the like button and share it with your friends so that they can also get benefited. And uh, for more such videos, please do not forget to subscribe my channel, Engineering Made Easy. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye. Friends, for more such videos, you can subscribe my channel, Engineering Made.
easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye